The thought of finally making that down payment or overall money to purchase your favorite is great. New cars also have this thing about them that makes you feel good. It's unfortunate that many buy cars without thinking about the future value of their cars and only realize when they have to sell the car a few years later that it's nowhere near the amount they purchased it for. However, since you clicked on this video, keep that smile on your face as we are going to make things easier for you by showing you 10 cars and SUVs that lose value the most. Number 1. 2021 Nissan LEAF We kickstart this list with this EV model of the Nissan LEAF. Not as great as a Bolt maybe, but the fact that it depreciates so badly makes things worse for the brand. This car only retains 28.1% of its value after only 5 years. This is surprisingly the second worst depreciation value in the vehicle market as a whole. Imagine investing $100 and only receiving $30 back from it. Oh, did I say investment? Sorry, I meant outvestment. There are good things in the car, like it being battery powered, although it doesn't compare to other EV cars from other brands. Other complaints about the car are towards its handling and its general unreal feel. The brakes are also not up to par in their performance and feel. It's an advantage over a brand like Tesla is that the Leaf is available worldwide. However, the overwhelming amount of negatives in the car and its depreciation rate are red flags for many car shoppers. Number 2. 2021 Ford EcoSport Moving on to the Ford EcoSport. Are you surprised that this vehicle made it to the list? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. In terms of the value of the car, it's similar to the XT5 and Encore. If you bought this car today, you will have to sell it for only 42.1% of the price in 5 years time. That's a steep fall for a modern car. The car is loved despite its negatives. We are yet to find out why, but what we do know is that it has a turbo, but the car certainly lacks power. The general performance of the vehicles is low, but it's a convenient car to have. You can also easily park due to its size, but riding it with its shaky handling and bad noise and ride quality is what would put some buyers off, even before buying the vehicle. It being a semi-SUV is really small inside, and that removes the SUV feel from the car. Nonetheless, many love it for being a car to simply do errands with. If you are considering the Eco Sport, just know that your money will go down the drain in only 5 years. Number 3. 2021 Chevrolet Bolt EV There might be a starting trend of battery-powered vehicles being the least value-retaining cars on the market. This is also true for the Bolt EV. In over 5 years, you can expect the car to only retain 29.7% of its original value. The new bolts like the 2022 version are made cheaper and thus affecting the price of previous models. This is bad for people who had to pay the originally high prices for previous versions of the car. This car was loved by many and went on to become the car of the year in some car magazines. It can also reach maximum speeds of 259 miles and many complement its handling and strong acceleration. Only complaining about the brake and cheap materials in its interior, it looks like its lack of holding value is another complaint to add. Number 4. 2021 Mitsubishi Outlander PHEV The new 2022 model has not only made improvements from the 2021 model, but it also killed its value. The hybrid 2021 Outlander only holds 40.8% of its value after a period of 5 years. That is really low compared to some of its competitors. It actually makes more sense buying a second-hand Outlander than buying a brand new one. But for those who love the smell of new cars, be prepared to lose most of your money on this car. It has a lot of great things about it, like the ability to charge really fast. By that I mean it can get to 80% of its capacity in only 25 minutes. What most customers don't like about the car is the interior which lacks the modern touch and feels. The cheap plastic material all around its interior doesn't make things easier for riders. But if you are looking to get into EV cars, then it might be a good choice. However, you must be warned, you will lose your money. Number 5. 2021 Audi A8 Plug-in If you are looking for a luxury hybrid car, you might consider the Audi A8 Plug-in. I mean, it provides you with the absolute best that a luxury sedan can in modern times. 
but if you do consider this car, you should be aware that it will depreciate, steep and fast. The plug-in version will only retain 34.1% and can go as far as 35%. With its power, technology, and great design, it still might be tempting to own one if you're an Audi brand lover. There is also a lot of safety measures in place to make your driving more smooth. So if you need to decide between luxury and value, with the Audi A8 plug-in, you can't have both. Number 6. 2021 Audi e-tron And here is to more electric cars. They are certainly making a mark in the industry both positively and negatively. Unfortunately today, the Audi e-tron falls into the negative side of the scale due to its incapability to hold its value. There are few words left to encourage anyone who would dare purchase this vehicle as its value drops as much as 39.7% in only 5 years. Talk about the price drop, this needs serious attention Audi if you are by any chance watching this video. The e-tron is a luxury SUV electric car and this is why so many people may be attracted to it. The car is good and the handling is awesome. The brakes also feel natural, not forgetting the technology in the car, which is use-friendly. It doesn't feel like a spaceship, it simply feels like a car built for you. It has a good grip, though there has been a lot of criticism on the ride quality. It might not match a Tesla. The range is also 222 miles. However, with some possibilities pointed out on this car, it still might not be a good buy if you care at all about your money which I suspect we all do. Number 7. 2021 Volvo S90 Recharge T8 Are you at all surprised that the S90 doesn't do well when it comes to depreciation? Apparently, it's a common thing for the brand. Things are also not looking good for this hybrid Volvo, especially for people who are loyal to the brand. This vehicle retains only 35.8% of its value after 5 years. Should I stop this video? Like that's crazy considering that's losing about 65% of the amount you paid when purchasing the car. The more crazy thing is that this is an awesome car that shouldn't be losing its value if we're being honest. The T8 is comfortable and maintains this aspect of it for years and continues to compete with newer cars today. The ride quality is fairly good, although the brand might consider improving it. It has a luxury feel and the general design of the car is beautiful. But are you willing to lose so much money over the luxury that the car offers? I certainly wouldn't advise anyone to buy this car, especially when new. Number 8. 2021 Mercedes Maybach GLS 600 Who would think that a Mercedes, a Maybach for that matter, is capable of depreciating badly? It shows us just how no car is safe from the possibility of depreciating. The GLS 600 happens to have a really bad, if not the worst, deprivation value among the GLS family of the cars brand. After 5 years, you can expect this SUV to only hold 39.6% of its original value. If you sell it, you will get less than 50% of what you originally paid for when you bought the car. The car looks great though, it has a lot to offer compared to the GLS counterparts. The interior is unique and feels good, and its suspension is what many customers compliment the vehicle on. It seems to be capable of absorbing big impacts and has great body control. It's just so shocking that a great car like this would lose value so deep and fast. Number 9. 2021 Volkswagen Artian $40,000 sounds like a good deal for an Artian, but wait. Before you rush to purchase this car, you should know that you will lose your money, drastically. The Volkswagen Artian will only retain 36.8% of its value after 5 years. This is really bad for a good car. You need to decide what you want to lose, the car or your money. Many Audi lovers have felt like the Artian copied its style of engineering as it has that stylish delivery in its drive quality. However, the price is certainly attractive. It's spacious and does better than many smaller SUVs. It's generally a comfortable car, though the interior is not necessarily the best. The performance is also average, and that's why it has attracted more customers who are not necessarily car lovers. It's a good vehicle to get around on, but is this SUV worth losing most of your money on? Number 10. 2021 Cadillac CT5 
We call this the affordable luxury car. It's pocket-friendly and comfortable, too. It knows how to hold the emotions of its riders. What it can't hold, though, is its value. And that certainly makes it a good diver. The car drops all the way from 100% to 38.1% in only five years. This is the truth buyers of the vehicle have come to terms with as they watch the value drop over the years. And this makes it harder to change the car in a few years if you are buying it through a car loan. The car is not a bad car at all if we were to judge it without the financial implications. The interior is not that great due to a mixture of good and cheap materials, and the engine doesn't perform at all that well. The car is, however, spacious, and though the quality is not the best, it still feels good sitting in the car. You could travel long distances in the car. Many people love the car, and you might too, but know that owning this car with coming at the expense of value. Now that's it for today. I hope you really enjoyed watching this video. Let us know in the comment section below which car we missed and which one would you never buy. We release more videos like this regularly and you can check them out on our channel. Remember to like and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Cheers!